Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vought RV in Fort Worth, Texas. Again, 2022 units are starting to roll onto our lot and right behind me I have another 2022. This is an SLX version. It's a 265 RLS. That's rear living room with a slide. We're 31 feet long, about 6,200 pounds, so it's not a super huge uh, trailer. It's a true couples camper. We don't have any bunks in this, but it's a perfect size couples camper. And it's got some neat features I'm looking forward to showing to you. Before I get started, I wanna point out my top three favorite changes in 2022 over 2021. So let's get started. Number one, we've upgraded to a friction hinge. So when you open the door and it's windy, it's not gonna blow shut. The friction's keeping this door from slamming shut instead of having to lock it open with a little plastic mechanism. Love that feature. Number two, we no longer have any carpet in the slide out on the SLX 8s. And finally, number three, Jayco has upgraded the roofing material to Diflex 3. That's the third generation of Diflex material, but what's important is it carries a 20 year warranty. Used to be 10 years, now it's 20. It's just an improved product on the roofing membrane of every Jayco. Love that. So let's go ahead and walk around this guy. You'll immediately notice that we're in a polar white color scheme. This is a 2022 change. It used to be silver. Now we're uh, on a polar white and a gray and silver uh, lower area on the unit. A lot of these things will be consistent if you watch some videos from 2021 uh, models, but I'll point out the changes as we go through. We have nice pass-through storage on this 265 RL. Goes all the way to the other side, but you'll notice something else. Now we've enclosed this area that used to be open to the bed area underneath. So now I have a separate area under the bed, which I'll show you when we go inside in this separate pass-through area for long items like fishing poles and bag chairs and what have you. Notice up here, when you're RV shopping, and you should be RV shopping, plywood, all plywood in a Jayco. You don't see particle board or OSB. Jayco's a plywood-based builder. That means it's higher quality, maybe even a smidge heavier sometimes, but the result is a much better product. Now we have twin propane bottles up here. These are the same guys that you can pop out and take to the quick sack. They're the same ones that you have in your gas grill at home, so they're easy to swap out and get them filled. We have an electric tongue jack right up here. It makes leveling, hooking, and unhooking super easy up here with the electric tongue jack. Again, this unit's not super long. We're 31 feet long, and yet I've got my nice pass-through storage here. And, which is kind of unusual, we have a bonus little storage area here on, on, on a unit like this. You don't usually get a bonus storage area. I like having this. It's also right above where we have our sewer connection. So obviously gray and black valve right here. Right above it is a perfect place to keep maybe a spray bottle with some bleach in it, keep my gloves, all the things that I need when I'm doing, tending to, you know, holding tank dump, dumping uh, tasks. Which, by the way, I have a whole video about that on RV Quick Tips with Mike on one of the funnest things to do with an RV is dumping your holding tanks. Uh, I give you the top three things on dealing with number one and number two. That's right. Anyway, right here, really handy storage space right where you need it the most. We have an outdoor shower, hot and cold. Uh, right here, this is our water heater assembly, city water connection, and a black tank flush valve. This is important to help keep your black tank clean. All handy right there, close together. One thing that I point out with Jayco's is every wheel well on a Jayco, whether you're looking at this one or the one right beside us, has steel up under the wheel well so that in the unlikely event that you pick up something on the interstate, it's not going to tear up the body, the housing of the RV. It's reinforced to protect from that. Most manufacturers don't do that. Jayco does. We have manual stabilizing jacks on each corner. So uh, my suggestion with these is get a three quarter inch driver, get a cheap cordless drill from Harbor Freight or wherever, pop it on there and zip it up and down in two seconds flat and you're good to go. 
Again, these are not leveling jacks, they're stabilizing jacks. This is the last thing you're gonna do when you get everything set up, get leveled, unhook from your truck. The last thing you're gonna do is drop these stabilizing jacks down. Three quarter inch driver makes that an easy process. Detachable power cord on this one, we have a 30 amp power service. On Jayco, you'll always get a full size spare like we have here with a cover, of course. Uh, not only does that look nice, but it's important to keep the UV off of not only your spare, but your service tires as well. Buy some tire covers or keep them covered up, especially when in storage. If you keep the UV off of these tires, they're gonna last longer and be safer for you. Now we have the Moride step above steps. I always brag about them instead of the steel folding steps that hang here. These uh, make contact with the ground. They have adjustable feet. They don't transfer motion to the camper as I'm stepping up in and out of the unit, walking in and out. Before we go in, I'll just point out really quickly, I have an 18 foot awning up here and you can see there's an LED light strip under it. Very nice. Uh, and then this is new in 2022. We have speakers embedded in the outer side wall of the trailer instead of in the end of each awning arm. In past, there were little speakers in the end of each awning arm, which were kind of novel and handy actually, but they were okay speakers. These are better quality speakers and they're embedded on the side wall. This is the vent to your range hood inside in the kitchen. So you're venting all the heat and the smells from your cooktop out here. This is called a key block mount. So there's a bracket inside. If you want to move your bedroom television out to the patio, you can do it right here. It's the same bracket. It pops on here. You have your cable and satellite connection and then your power connection right here. Makes it super easy to have a television right out here. Potable water, a lot of people see this and they say, gee, why is the water hook up on the patio side? Good question. This isn't actually the water hookup. This is potable water. This is the water that you're going to fill your holding tank with, your freshwater holding tank, I should say, in the event that you're going to go camping out where you're off grid and you don't have a water supply. Sometimes this will be on the patio side. Sometimes it will be on what I call the utility side or the street side. Your main hookups, your main water supply, your main cable and satellite hookups, and your dumping valves for your holding tanks will always be on the utility side, uh, the curbside, if you will. But sometimes you'll see this over here on, on the patio side, and in this case, we have the holding tank for fresh water fill right here. Just a little point of explanation. So, let's go on inside. Again, we're in a 265 RLS, what I call a true couples camper. Now we're inside the 265 RLS. This is thin shade ready. It says so right there. So you can add a thin shade right over here on the window that's in our entry door. In the past, this was like a frosted glass. You couldn't see through it, but it wasn't shaded. A lot of people put that reflective stuff or whatever on there to keep it dark. Now you can add a thin shade to this. It's prepped for it, it's super easy to do. We can uh, fix you up with that if that's something that you like to do. Now again, this is a true couples camper. So when I say a true couples camper, I'm not planning on kids staying with me or, or grandkids or Aunt Matilda or whoever, but maybe just once in a while. If they do decide to visit me, I've got a place for them to sleep. I can convert this into a bed. I can also convert this dinette into a bed. I've done a quick tips video on how to convert, I think every dinette on planet Earth into a bed including this type of one. So go and check that video out. This is simply a tri-fold, folds out, super easy to do in about 18 seconds flat. So you can have a sleeping position here if you do have some guests that come occasionally. But other than that, we're in a true couples camper cause I have a place for me to sit and my wife to sit, my significant other, and a nice viewing angle to the TV that's down um, uh, at the other end by the dinette. Now, some people don't think about this, but I do. What's the TV viewing angle? If 
you're always looking over your shoulder at the TV or whatever, not so great. We're in a couple's camper, have two comfortable chairs straight onto the TV. Now, there's always a compromise, always a trade-off with RVs. If I'm sitting here, I can see the TV great. If I'm sitting there, not so much. So it's a trade-off, but I just like to point out of something that you might want to think about, TV viewing angle. And you may say, I'm camping. I'm not really going to be watching TV, point taken. You can take that thing out if you don't want to, and uh, maybe it's a very occasional thing. Maybe you got the weather on or something like that. Just something else to think about as you're RV shopping. Now, I have one slide on this, and of course it's out. And when that slides out, we have a nice amount of room in here. Uh, a couple can be living in here, if you will, spending our time in here and not on top of each other. It's really nice and very roomy. Nice countertop, I like this. Jayco's doing this one piece molded countertop with an undermount sink. In 2022, we've upgraded to a matte black fixture scheme. So instead of brushed nickel, which I thought looked nice as well, we've moved also to the drawer pulls black matte. As always, same build quality, full extension drawer glides, 75 pound ball bearing drawer glides. Now here's a neat thing, now we have the modern farmhouse decor option available in an SLX. Didn't used to have that option and now we do. Storage up top, again this is modern farmhouse. We sell more of these than any other color scheme. I think because of the lighter color it lightens up uh, the interior. Someone commented on one of the videos the other day, I don't like the white color. You're in luck, you don't have to get this. Another option is to have more of a wood grain uh, color scheme. And I'm now at a loss of what it's called. I think it's Country Cottage, but it's not white. We can get you a different color scheme. If you're not in love with this, you're still in luck. Three burner cooktop and nice backlit controls under here. This is a Furion, uh, of course, propane cooktop and a nice little oven here as well light under there. Again we have a vented range hood that's got a light on it and here's your vent switch. So venting to the outside, small little microwave big enough to warm up leftovers and so on. Now in most cases we're ordering these with 12 volt refrigerators like this one has a 12 volt refrigerator two cubic feet bigger than a standard RV fridge. Standard RV fridge I'm calling a gas absorption, the type that is running off either propane or electric. This is running off 12 volts all the time. So immediately you say, gee, I can't go off-grid camping with that, can I, Mike? Actually, you can. This is running off your batteries. If you turn your truck off, you're still running off your batteries. Say you want to take a nap, sleep for a while overnight at a truck stop or a Walmart parking lot, that's a whole other quick tips video. This is going to continue to run off your battery backup. Now, uh, it won't run indefinitely, but it will continue to run off your batteries. If you have solar on board, then you have that much more charging capability even when the truck is off. Obviously, you're uh, charging perpetually from the sun. All right? so. Dinette here, entertainment center here. We have a decent amount of storage right next to the fridge that goes all the way to the outer wall. So I'm calling that a pantry and uh, something that you don't often get in a relatively short footprint of an RV. A lot of people ask what this is. These are your fuses and your breakers. So your 120 volt, 120 volt breakers and uh, 15, uh, usually 15 amp fuse array right there and they're all labeled so if you wonder if something's not working something's not being powered the first place you want to check is come in here and check these breakers and check these fuses it's the first troubleshooting area thermostatically controlled air up top 15k air conditioning unit that is ducted if you want to do a quick cool open up this vent right there my wife calls that the hot flash vent why? Apparently it cools you down really fast. Close that and now we're pushing more air through these vents up here, which is the way you're going to use it most of the time. 
Now this is unique because we're separating the bedroom from the living area completely by the bathroom. You can access the bathroom from the living, you can ac access the bathroom from the bedroom. So we have nice shower enclosure, glass and sho uh, shower enclosure. Um, six feet tall, kind of broad shouldered. I got plenty of headroom up here to maneuver about. Very classy and high end feeling shower enclosure. Little basin sink here so you can uh, be brushing your teeth and do everything that you need to do in the bathroom. We have storage right above the commode. Again, great place for linens, um, maybe even extra clothes because there's a lot of room up in here, towels and what have you. Um, you can see some of our plumbing heading to and from the toilet up here that you have easy access to if you need to get to it. Always like to sit down here just to let you know I'm six feet tall. I've got plenty of room in here. And Jacob always thinks about the little things. Got to have that, right? And uh, there you go. Now into the bedroom. I like Jaco's lighting. I like the nice blue light up there. Uh, it looks kind of cool, but you know what's neat about it is if it's pitch black in here, you don't want to blind your partner, but you want just enough light to see around. It's a great, pleasant, functional light. Turn that on when it's real dark. We should do an after dark video sometime, Brian. It's just enough light to help you find your way around after dark. There's a little switch over here and we have um, shelves here for folding items. And then that side has a rod inside for hanging shirts and so on. Notice this has got solar on board and we have the solar charge controller on the wall right there. So I alluded to that a little bit ago. We already have a 190 watt solar panel that lives up on the roof of this. That's your charge controller. So when you're stopping off at Cracker Barrel to eat lunch on your way to Paladura Canyon, turn the truck off and you're in there, your wife's shopping for Christmas list. You're in there finishing up your last cup of coffee. That charger is continuing to charge your batteries on this unit. It's keeping that refrigerator happy in there. It's a pretty neat feature and we ordered it with it. Now notice this little bracket up here. I also alluded to this. This is the, the what we call the key block mount bracket. Pull this to release it and lift it off the wall. I can take the TV, which you would provide, out on the patio. Got your coax cable hookup and power right there. So hook it on the patio, bring back here, just pop it into place and right there it is. And it's fine to leave this on going down the road. This is very secure. Obviously you're not gonna leave it on the road on the outside, but you can leave this TV right here going down the road. And then if you wanna have a TV on the patio, you can pop it off. Very nice. So couples camper head to toe. I like this because it's not a huge trailer not super heavy you don't need a super huge truck most half ton uh, pickup trucks ford f-150 gm 1500 are readily going to pull this there are some other additional uh, changes in 2022 that that uh, are unique and i'm happy to go over those with you and i'm happy to check your truck make sure you can pull this safely if you want to just give me a shout or drop me an email at the information below again my name is mike here at vaud rv Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.